Kumase is known as home of entertainment with the local movie industry Kumawood as a force to reckon with. It is often said that the movie industry in the once garden city of West Africa holds the key to breathing fresh air into the cinema industry in Ghana. Now the absence of large theatres which played a major role up to the 1990s is often blamed for the dwindling fortunes of that industry. Prince Apia looks back at the once vibrant cinema experience and prospects for the industry with the advent of Watch and Dine Cinema in Kumasi, which has been, well, which has been launched. Fifty-year-old businessman Ohene Kwame Donko grew up at Bantama. It was once a vibrant community noted for entertainment, with movies at center stage. He sits in front of one of the popular cinema houses of the 90s, Rivoli Cinema, not to watch a movie, but for fresh air. Rivoli was the best as far as cinema. Ohini Kwame Donko, also known as Osei Kwame, has fond memories of the cinema experience. This place, they were running three, three shifts. Okay. By four o'clock this time, you see long queue. <laughs> Over here, wow. because when you don't come early, you don't get a place to yeah, stay. We have the upstairs and the downstairs. It's, it's that full. And when it is full, they will close the door. See, so that it was very, very popular. And uh, it made band to my great. Other notable cinema theaters included Rex, Roxy, and Okansi. All of them have collapsed with the advent of videos, CDs, DVDs, and pen drives, and the internet, which makes it possible to watch films indoors. These halls are now being used either for chapels or warehouses. Rivoli, however, remains unused, but traders have taken over front premises. Ohene Kwame Donko wants the cinema experience revived. I mean, uh, when the cinema shows are revived, it will be better. The wish of people like Ose Kwame to return to the good old days of outdoor cinema is now a reality in Kumasi. Watch and Dine Cinema at the Kumasi City Mall provides world-class standard for patrons. It is the only premium cinema in West Africa. Asaya Jemaindia is a managing director. We actually thought of enhancing our local or our, our Kumawood and our, I would say our Gollywood movie production. How? When you look at Nigeria, they have about 8, 10 movie distribution ends. In Ghana, we only have a silver bed in Accra. So when you want to watch a movie, people in Kumasi or Tamale need to fly all the way to Accra to watch a movie. Watch and Dine is here to answer that question. We are here to solve it. In that, it helps our local industry to get a place to exhibit their movies. When their, 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 their movies are exhibited, people in other Western countries and other people are able to know about our culture. Now movie lovers are already trooping in. And I decided to be here so I know what is really happening here. And I really, it's very lovely. It's been something really I've been anticipating for quite a while because Kumasi hasn't got something uniquely and magnificent like this. With the past sorry state of cinema business hanging over people in Kumasi, can Watch and Dine survive? Um, Watch and Dine is the first cinema in West Africa to have a mobile responsive app. On Play Store, you can order for your tickets or pay for your tickets through various payment platforms. You can book a seat and you can buy a meal. It is obvious if the necessary support is given to daring investors like Watch and Dine, the local movie industry can see a revival. Prince Apia, reporting.